Moses, would you come right up here and stand on the platform? Stand right there and face it. About two, the two purple girls today. What color is their tongue? Pardon? What color are their tongues? Their tongues? Oh! Is your tongue blue? Gross! You leaking frogs or something? No. Step, step, take one step up. I want everybody to see. move down just a little bit so you'll be in the middle of the platform. There, very good. I, I'd rather really see your uh, your beauty than, than my beastliness. But uh, anyway, I want to talk with you today, and the, the lesson is about. There are many people who are afraid that if we if we commit ourselves completely to God, we'll lose all of our freedom, and a lot of times freedom means fun. We'll lose all our liberty. That. God will, He wants to so control our life that we, we don't have any decisions to make and that we don't have any choice or we don't have any free will. And I want to do a, a, an illustration today that uh, I think demonstrates the fact that, that, as a matter of fact, I never truly became free until Jesus became Lord of my life. Amen. Uh, I believe that to be true. So He does lead me, He guides me, and He directs me, and yet I feel completely free. As a matter of fact, more free than I think the people who are without Him. Now, I have a deck of playing cards here today, and they have those big numbers on there that are for people like me. I usually have to have my glasses. But uh, that's the only thing that's uh, unusual about them from appearance. And uh, it's really kind of about twos today. I want to show you something that uh, I have uh, selected. I did do some preparation on the deck so that I could put a two on the top of the deck here. And I have a two on the bottom of the deck. As a matter of fact, there are two twos. That's called the two of spades. So I have a two on the top of the deck, two on the bottom of the deck, and I have this two. We're going to call this the finder two. Okay, Bailey, here's what I want you to do. I'm going to take this, this two right here. And I'm just going to hold uh, the deck of cards. There are 52 cards in the deck, and they're all different. I have taken the jokers out of this deck. And what I'd like you to do is use that card, which everybody knows, to select a card that nobody knows, okay? And what I want you to do is just put your card inside the deck about halfway in through the end here and put it in a place that you choose to. In other words, it's your will. It's your decision. So you're putting your card. Just slide it in there anywhere you want to. All right, slide it right there. Now, it's gone in halfway. And you put, your, there, there's the bottom two, and there's the two that you use as a finder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the cards. You see that there's a three. But the card that you placed... Now, what do I want you to hold your hand out flat. And I'm going to put the card that you placed the two on top. Put your other hand on top of that like a sandwich. Now, you don't know what card that is, do you? All right. Now, what I'm going to do is give you the finder card. And we have our two right there. And I want you to do the same thing that she did. Now, keep your card right there. Don't let Destiny see what it is. Put it in there. Your choice, your selection. Don't, I, I, I'm not doing any mind control on you. <laughs> That was fun. I might do that again. But uh, <laughs> put it in there anywhere you want to and select any card that you wish. Right there. Would you like to change it? You can, you can put it in a different place if you want. All right. Now, there's uh, the finder two. And there's the bottom two. And I'm going to open it up like a book again. You see there's the nine of hearts. Now, what I want to do is you can hold your hand out again. We're going to make a card sandwich. And that's the place where you place your card. <laughs> now, I'm going to put these right over here. I might even shake your head. You mind if I shake your head a little bit? I'll do that later. <laughs> what I wanted to do is give you the complete liberty and the freedom to choose any card that you want to, just at random, just out of a clear blue, just by putting your card anywhere that you wanted to. All right? Do you feel like I, I did I mesmerize you or hypnotize you or anything or make you pick a particular card? You're not really sure, are you? What about you? You're, you're pretty sure. You, nobody tells you what to do, do it? <laughs> All right. What I want you to do, I think that you picked the card that I wanted you to pick. You see, God has a way of influencing us and leading us and guiding us. And that doesn't mean we're like robots or that He's programmed us. It just means that He has a way of lovingly imparting His heart and His love and all His goodness into us. So I think that you picked the card, too, that I wanted you to get. Would you look and see you look, what card you picked? What card did you get? Hold that up so that I can see. What did you get? What is it? 
Picture. Uh, who's a picture of? Me. It's, it's a picture of you, <laughs> and you have a picture of you. Show it to everybody so they can see the people in the choir too. Wow. <laughs> And just as there's probably not, I don't believe there's anybody in the entire world, at least I hope not, who's exactly like you, and nobody who's exactly like you, everything that God has for you and for me is personal, and it's just exactly. He has it's not a cookie-cutter kind of thing, but he, you're free, you're making choices, you're making decisions, you're picking cards and making up your mind and all along, if you want, if you wish, God can be leading you and guiding you. All right. Uh, please keep those cards as a memory of this day and help it wash out the pencil trick from last week. From your mind. All, right. All right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much.